Hi folks, Captain Mike here from Salty Cape. It's early April, greasy calm, awesome day to play hooky and catch some ground fish. So today we're gonna to be using the new Hoagie Flutter Pitch style jigs. As you can see behind me, they're greasy, calm conditions. We're gonna have nice, long, slow drifts. So I'm setting this rig down to the bottom. Again, I have uh, the eight and a half ounce Flutter Pitch with the diesel Mac rig for you know traction above. We just got here, we don't really know what we're in store for. We don't know what bait they're keyed in on. So we have a big bait imitation and a little bait imitation on down there. Um, we got all our bases covered, but we're gonna still fish it the same way as if it was just a traditional jig. So we're in about 200 feet of water. So we're gonna let this all the way down to the bottom. Now, this is a slow style jig. It's almost impossible to fish it too slow. I like a big rod tip up and a rod tip down. Rod tip up, rod tip down. These jigs are super simple to fish, just slow and easy. Nice and chill. There you go. That's just on the jig. Double. We just went over some really nice bottom. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It's funny, these fish are really keyed in on small baits. I have my fancy flutter pitch jig on, but it's funny, they want the little, little teasers of the diesel Mac rig here. This fish is coming up. It's a little bigger than the last couple. I'm excited to see what it is. Taking me into the real seat even a little bit. So it's either multiples on one rig or a little bit of a better fish. Oh, you're a nice cod. Bring it right over here. Grab this guy. Nice cod on the flutter pitch. Oh yeah. Dying to see what this is. It's a double. It's a double. It's a triple. It's a triple, it's a triple cod. Oh wow, look at the size of them. Pull these guys in here. We got a triple cod. Look at that. So obviously the flutter pitch is doing the, doing the trick on ground fishing here on Stellwag. And, and as you can see, uh, Max Fish uh, came in great on the uh, six and a half ounce flutter pitch. But look what happens when you add the diesel Mac rig. You have more hooks in the water. You get big bait imitation, little bait imitation. You get best of all worlds. So this is a pretty, pretty impressive stringer right here. We gotta check, it's 21 inches, one per person. So I think we basically just got our limit real quick here on, uh, on one drop with two rods. We'll be taking a look for a haddock after this, but beautiful day out here, it's flat calm. Any time in April is a good time to be on the water. Yeah, this so. is amazing. Good way to start the month off. Oh, we're gonna get one now. There we go. See, it feels like a haddock. It's a little more bouncy. Or perhaps multiple haddock. That's the one thing about using the diesel Mac rig is you don't know how many are coming up. If you have one larger fish or multiples. Now this is just a lightweight jigging outfit. I might use a uh, reel, a little bigger reel, fishing in 200 feet of water, but this is doing the trick. It's a headache. Get the jig off the gel coat. You can see this haddock came in on the teaser. These are beautiful fish, excellent eating. This guy looks like he's been hit by a shark once or twice, but now he's about to get hit with a frying pan. That's a nice haddock on the diesel Mac rig, uh, perfectly hooked. Uh, he's definitely legal, so 
throw him in the box, fish tacos tonight. We're in a little bit of deeper water, but generally anytime you're ground fishing in say 180 plus feet of water, um, you could have uh, any variety of different bait on the bottom, anything ranging from sand eels, oceanic herring, small mackerel, shrimp, crabs. And for, so for that reason, when I'm starting off ground fishing in deeper water, I like to have sort of a universal approach, some like lures that can imitate just about anything you could possibly encounter. Uh, today we're gonna have long, slow drifts. And so to me, that's a perfect situation to use the flutter pitch. It's a slow pitch style jig. This jig, it's almost impossible to fish it too slowly. You can see these jigs come with teaser style assist hooks. So in one lure, you have both a big bait imitation and a small teaser. That gives you a little bit of uh, variability in your approach. Uh, we have gotten a little bit of a start to the day today, and we figured out that the haddock are keyed in on juvenile redfish like this one we have here. As you can see, this flutter pitch jig is a nice representation of a small redfish. Now, there's a lot of little teeny, when I say teeny, like an inch, inch and a half long juvenile redfish down there that a haddock have been copping up. And so one little upgrade, if you will, I like to make when jigging for ground fish, particularly in deeper water, like we are today in over 180 feet, is I'll put our hoagie diesel mac rig on above the jig. Now, if you inspect our mackerel rigs, you'll notice that these are little mini heavy duty live bait hooks, super strong. These can hold cod up to 30 pounds, no problem. These are made with 60 pound test mono, so they'll last pretty much the whole season. So today, um, I honestly don't think you can go wrong just with a naked jig with a teaser assist or the diesel mac. I like to start people off, uh, one with a mackerel rig and one without the, you know, just the straight jig with the teaser assist. Then you'll find out what they're vectored in on. Nicer haddock here. This one just came in on a straight jig. Tide's picking up a little bit. What a great day. It's an excellent way to wrap up the day. Time to head home and fillet these fish. <laughs>